Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create this neon background template that you can use as a background and as an overlay as well. I will leave the practice file in the description box as well as the exact footage, this neon footage that I have generated and you can do so yourself as well in just a few simple steps. We'll start off by creating a new composition and the first thing I'm going to do is turn on the proportional grid. So on this composition, you're going to select the pen tool and we're going to draw a simple rectangle. You can turn off the fill for the rectangle since we don't need it and only keep the stroke on. So after you've done that, what we're going to do is generate a new solid layer. And on this layer, you're going to apply the saber effect. In the black solid layer that you have just generated, you're going to click on the mask option and create a new mask. Then in the shape layer, in the contents under shape 1, path 1, you're going to control plus C which is basically copy the path of your shape and in the black solid layer on which you have applied the saber effect, under the mask path, you're just going to control plus V which is basically paste it. Now in the customize core option of the saber effect, you're going to turn the core type into a layer mask. Now as you can see, the neon saber effect, it has been applied to your rectangle that you generated. You can turn off the shape layer and then I'm going to turn off the proportional grid as well. Now in order for us to give it some movement, the first thing I'm going to do is change the glow intensity to around 30 and change the core size to around 5. The next thing you're going to do is in the mask evolution option at the 0 second mark you're going to turn the stopwatch on and at the 5 second mark I'm going to make the mask evolution 1 which basically means it will complete one complete rotation. And then the next thing you're going to do is turn the end size off to 0 and increase the end roundness to around 0.8 and the start roundness to around 0.8 as well. Now when you play this, this is the effect that you have generated. See how simple it is to create this exact neon effect. What you can do in order to customize it that you can change the glow color to whatever color you want. And you can also change the glow intensity, the glow spread, see which values work for you. I will leave the practice project file in the description box so you can change these values as you see fit. If you're interested in more Adobe After Effects tutorials, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye.